Hello and welcome back to a, another game of Steel Division 2 and today I'm taking the 5th SS Panzer Wicking battle group into an online game in a 2v2 Unfortunately uh, this game does drop out um, after about 30 minutes um, due to a network issue uh, but I thought I'd still show it because I did have a lot of fun playing it. This is my first uh, online game in, in a long time. So on my side, on the right, I'll be in blue as the SS Panzer Wiking. Uh, my ally will be the Gruppe Hartnick, a German mechanized deck. And we will be going up against the 10 wire guard Tankovi Corpus and the 2 wire guard Tankovi Corpus. So my opponent will be airstrike, and my opponent, uh, my ally's opponent will be replace the lamp, and my ally is lost wrath. So we'll get started now. So I'll just show uh, my side of the map first um, before I rotate the camera. So basically, I set up a small force. Over here I've got a MG42 and a recon squad going into these buildings here. It's going to overlook uh, this pathway here. And I've also got a Yard Panzer which is going to be uh, moving into this forest, like this bushland here. And getting a nice shot on anything travelling along this road. I've also got some Grenadiers, some Pioneers and a Flak 38 which is going to set up over on, I think the Flak, yeah, they're going to set up over into this forest here. And I've also got a pack 40, I think, which is going to set up here. The rest of my force are all going over onto this left side. Managed to get some flame waffling up as close as I could, and meanwhile, the rest are all uh, disembarking back on the edge of this town, and they're going to push up. So I've got two Pioneer squads, two Panzer Grenadiers, and a Leader squad, along with two T 3485s and a Flak 38 for. AA. So we do unload our pioneers and grenadiers over here along with the flak and it looks as though my opponents brought up a couple of tankers to sneaky with the 8 PPSHs and Molotov cocktails so uh, they will actually easily decimate these squads in close combat. I'm just slowly making my push up. See that path in there. I think this is the first engagement I run into. Uh, over on the rest of the map, we've just got defensive position set up. Um, as I wanted my main focus over here on the left side. So do a couple of shots from that SU-57. Unfortunately I didn't bring my recon up. I actually completely forgot my recon so I'm bringing them up now. Do get hit by that IL-2M but managed to push it back with our flak. I think this is the first engagement here, and we'll start to run back once I notice that those are uh, uh, take us to sneaky. There's the first Molotov. Do you manage to get a grenade shot off though and take out one? And then I just start falling back because I actually didn't realize at the time that I had taken out that squad. I was expecting him to chase me, so I just kept uh, falling back. SC-57 moving up. I think I might have a vision of it this time. Also moving up the pack 40 to get into a better position. As my forces do start to fall back. The Bergpanzer getting hit by an OB-25. T-34 goes down to the SU-57. Really unfortunate that I lost those tanks. Uh, just because I forgot the recon. As I said, this is my first game 
online in a while. Flame off and moving up. I think I'm going to try to drop some smoke here. And OB25 does spot my flame off and start to hit them. Looks as though he has retargeted to the pioneers though. So we've got some flak moving up in the forest back there as well, and then another T3485 coming up. Just dropping some more smoke with my flame off and just trying to make it easier for this force to move closer. The idea is to use what our grenadiers and start to engage. So I do halt them and start to fire back. We'll probably just get a Hit from that AB25 and kill like four, four guys in one hit. So T3485 does spot and start hitting the OB25, and it looks like he's trying to fall back. Pioneers do make it into the bush and start pushing that guard veer out of there. He does bring up another IL-2M, just misses out T-34. I did spot that and start pulling him forward. Unfortunately, um, I think we got hit by that SU-85. So it's got 180mm, 145 easily can knock out our tanks. Pioneers are safe in the forest now though, and we're just starting to move the grenadiers up as well. These grenadiers did get pinned down uh, from the uh, hits from the SU-85. As we start to bring up some more armor to try and deal with this SU-85. Pioneers engaging now. Not a very good engagement considering uh, they do have the LMG hitting us. I think the SU-57 spots out T-34. We do manage to turn around in time and hit it and causing theirs to bounce. Looks like they've got a mortar back there. We've got some more reinforcements coming in now. And the enemy has no reinforcements by the looks of it. So we are out of vision from that SU-85, letting us able to uh, take out these guard via squads as we start to slowly push towards this forest here. I want to start getting some infantry over there uh, so that we can hit this town from both sides. I think this T-34 does get a little bit too close. I think I was trying to spot where his 
SU-85 was. We do get the OB-25 though, which is good. And yeah, I think we're about to do that T-3485. I think I try to fall back. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I try to fall back. I do manage to get back just in time, which was very lucky. Pioneers dis disembark there and they're going to move off into the forest. Whereas the Grenadiers, I believe they're going over this way. Do get hit by the SU 85, but it doesn't knock out the transport vehicle, luckily. Also, the MG 42, that's going to set up as a defensive position and also supporting my Pioneers as they move forward. Grenadiers start to engage with the guard here, should be an easy win. We do have the numbers. see some water fire coming in from that WLA. Do you manage to get one of the uh, transport vehicles as well? It's anti-tank rockets coming in and falling our armor back. Just as our pioneers start to make their advance. So I did drop some smoke with my flame often. Some T-34-76 is coming up. Do manage to knock out my T-34-85, which is really unfortunate. That's actually the SU-85 getting those, getting those hits off. A grenade, not some knocking out those guard gears. And we've got some more armor rolling up. Three pens of four H's. We're going to start engaging with that SU 85. And there goes the SU 85. So the T 3476 has tried to come up to engage with us. quickly starts to pull back once he realises what's there. I notice he actually doesn't have any recon, so these tanks would be going blind at this point. AT missiles come in, falling two of my tanks back. I think the third one should be okay though. He's trying to set these pioneers up. As some guard gears start to pull in. We've also got a grill now coming up, so that'll be very useful for dealing with that infantry. Full retreating at the moment, which gives us a nice hold now. We've got uh, three pioneers in the town backed up with this Panzer 4H, and over in the forest, some flame off and Panzer Grenadiers and recon squads. I think I just dropped, yeah, I just dropped a um, 
bombing run. I, and that, I think that's why he was falling back. I think he saw my heavy bomber coming in there for a bombing run. I just wanted to make sure that if I did push these pioneers up, they weren't going to uh, run into anything. The arc pans are coming up in the back there as well. He is dropping smoke. Is his? I think that's his mortar. Yeah, one of his mortars. He is trying to create a smoke screen so that my units can't keep hitting him as he brings up reinforcements, which is pretty, pretty good on his part. Uh, but I do just drive right through it. Oh, transport goes down. Ah, oh, nice hit there from the IL-2M. Yeah, he really does start using these... these planes. Luckily he wasn't making any push into these buildings because after getting hit by those anti-tank missiles it actually stressed out my pioneer squads. Reinforcements coming up in the back, we've got two Panther D's, two Panzer Grenadiers. Some more hits from those anti-tank planes, he's got a lot of these planes. SU-85 coming up as well, and he's in full retreat now. Panthers have spotted that SU-85. And <laughs> he's just, yeah, he's just backing that up. So I just brought up my fighter as well. I think that was to deal with those anti-tank planes because I noticed, I think I tried to bring one up when they did their first um, barrage of rockets and they got away too quickly. So I'm actually just set it up in the back there to try and ward off those planes. Yeah, there they are. So we do manage to make them both fall back. Oh, just miss out on the kill there. But we do get the... Oh, nice kill there. We do get the effect though, which was to push forward our units. So we've, we've left this forest and we're now up in these buildings here. And we're actually hitting these guard beers as they try to fall back. These Panther D's getting a little bit too close, but doesn't seem to be too much of an issue just yet. I do have recon, so I'll be able to see them as they pop out. I do spot those planes and start to reverse my Panther D's to prevent them getting hit. I think I might even, yeah, I bring up a, I think that's my ally actually, yeah, he brought up a BF-109, but it uh, just doesn't get there in time. Let's pull back a little bit, so 
we can see that he's bringing up a lot of reinforcements he's also got this uh, ZIS-3 anti-tank gun back there that'll be pretty devastating even a bit, there's a lot of cluster here yeah he's definitely at a disadvantage there, these T-34 76's aren't going to be very useful we got my own anti tank rockets knocking out one of the T-34's and I've also brought up a flak 43 so this thing is just stressing these IL-2Ms out Focal trying to get in there but starts getting hit from the is it not majority of his arm is now gone uh, he's just got that uh, SU-85 and T-34 there don't know if he got that payload off I did manage to pin down the ZIS-3 some PE-283's coming in there I think they get their bombs off yeah, big hit on my arm. You know, there's just a lot of aircraft coming to try and hit us. Not sure if I had any fighters available at the time. So I do start using the flame often to drop some smoke as we push across over into this forest uh, the idea is that these units will be able to come over into this forest and start uh, hitting them and we've just started engaging with the ZIS I think we might lose that engagement though only one of my panzers is he actually pulled back surprisingly Also put up that A8. Oh, that was a big play. How's it going to just go down? Just trying to get that smoke up to protect those pioneers. I didn't realize just how many Art uh, Guard Via squads were in there until I started to push across there. Ooh, nice uh, bombing run there from the HE 111. Flame often goes down. And I've just downloaded some Panzer Grenadiers that are also going to try and make their way up there. Unfortunately, those pioneers did. Go down. Uh, there was just too many squads in there. I didn't realize uh, just how much they had sitting in this area. I thought the smoke would be able to keep them covered, but it wasn't enough. So I've just brought up some heavy artillery and also some rockets. My HE 111 also coming in. And I'm basically just going to try and uh, hit this with enough artillery that we can make a push without losing too many units. Oops, I wasn't meant to zoom in just then. 
Attack 43, Heating some IL 2Ms. I think they were going to try and use them as a fighter pilot to hit the HE 111, but they don't get very far. Ooh, if Falcon Wolf 190 coming in, he should easily take them out. He does get his payload off. I don't know what that's going to do. Ah, oh, yeah, well, completely took out a Panzer Grenadier. Fortunately, my other two only got pinned down. ZIS 3 engaging with the Yarg Panzer, but he's way too stressed out to actually uh, take him out. P2s just aren't getting close enough anymore. Oh, one does actually. I think it's going to try to hit my flag 43. Yeah, it does pin him down. Doesn't do too much damage though. So there's the rocket barrage now. So we do get into the forest now, we're going to start engaging with that ZIS-3, try to get that out of the way, and there's really not a whole lot left. Panzer Grenadiers do get caught out by those guard fears, but luckily the Yard Panzer gets a nice hit off and pins them down. trying to get that ZIS over to hit my panther. I think I do move up the grenadiers in time but I might have been focused elsewhere. Yeah, he's about to get that first shot off. So do start to pull them back and bring up the panther grenadiers. So we do manage to just circle around, cut him off, and then just start to finish him off. There we go. Opal Blitz comes up to start refueling, uh, rearming our Panzer Ds. And it looks like he's brought up some. Yeah, some artillery back here, which is going to be hitting our forest. So 
for some more reinforcements in the back here. I think these are mechanized. Yep, I've brought up some half tracks, which are getting get ready to push up into this town. And over here, I've decided to bring up some half tracks. I've got four. I've also set up some opal glitch to rearm my heavy artillery and rocket artillery. Uh, unfortunately, I do. <laughs> disconnect at this point though so I just wanted to quickly show what I was preparing for I was actually going to start making a push on that second flag um, but with the internet dropping out it was a bit unfortunate so I get 1500 to 1100 but thanks for watching